Thanks for logging on to your Facebook Weather First forecast. I'm meteorologist Josh Stone on this July 15th. We're calling for isolated showers and storms for the Sun Coast today, and I think that's what's going to be the case here, isolated and away from the coast. Though one or two storms could get close to the coast, I think mostly these isolated storms that pop up this afternoon will be away from the coast and more inland today. Now, heavier wet weather will be in the panhandle. If you have any travel plans going up towards I-10 and westbound, you'll run into the uh, wall of heavy wet weather. And that's going to be the case here tomorrow as well. But we'll also start to see some shower activity as we get into our Saturday afternoon and Saturday night with some localized uh, heavy downpours and some lightning strikes, even some gusty winds. So once again, Isolated storms today, tomorrow, a little more widespread with the heavy wet weather. But once again, if you're taking I-10 westward, look what Pensacola is going to have. Boy, just extremely heavy rain and uh, at times some heavy thunderstorms. So it is going to be a little more rough up towards the north, but we'll get our chance of some showers and storms that will be on the heavy side as well tomorrow. But today, just isolated storms, high of 91, and that's average for this time of the year. And we'll have a westerly wind about 10 miles per hour. Now let's talk about the tropics. Right now, there's some dust in the atmosphere over the Atlantic Ocean. There's some upper level winds that are quite strong. So the tropics at this time are very quiet and that's good news. However, don't let your guard down because once again, we're still in hurricane season and we're approaching the month of August. And the month of August, things start to ramp up here with activity, especially the last two weeks in August and the first two weeks of September. Those weeks happen to be the peak of the hurricane season. We're not there yet, but once again, we want to remind you, have a plan and be prepared and be prepared for the worst because this year is supposed to be an active year for tropical activity. Even though we haven't had much so far, it doesn't mean in the next couple of weeks or so, things will start to change. So we just have to be on guard as we go through this hurricane season. For the boaters today, looking pretty good. Sea is at two feet. Shop will be smooth, so no issues taking the boat out at all. Here's your forecast, and once again, today will be isolated as far as storms go, but tomorrow the storm activity does increase. Our high will be 90, and actually temperatures over the next several days will be in the lower 90s, and the rain chance will be about 30 to 40 percent as we get into early next week. Thanks again for logging on to your Facebook Weather First forecast.